Sure. Um, Chefs in the City program um, was developed a few years ago, actually, in South Australia. Um, and it was put to bed for a little while. We decided to rehash it. Uh, this is the first time back this year. Um, we actually do it with a, in conjunction with the restaurant catering um, in South Australia. And we pick some, well, the apprentices uh, have to nominate themselves to come onto the uh, program. Um, we choose six from regionally um, SA and also uh, metropolitan. Um, we had a mixture this year, 50% um, of each, which has been great. Um, the program, we start off at uh, the Highway Hotel uh, with the Chef Nick Finn uh, showing off his uh, non mine cuts, um, what, what ticks for the highway, um, and then showed it actually on basic principles of um, how to trust. Then we moved ourselves over here to uh, the Intercontinental with uh, Executive Chef Tony Hart, um, which did exactly the same thing, so, but comparing from a high volume pub to a uh, high volume banqueting uh, setting. And then uh, after that, we had our uh, corporate chef, a uh, corporate butcher, sorry, um, Doug Piper uh, from uh, Meat Livestock Australia, um, to showcase um, our latest uh, Beef Masterpieces Volume Three, um, and we showcase the the knuckle, uh, shin, top side, and the short ribs. Oh, look, it's the whole idea of of, um, of apprentices uh, coming along to these events is to advance their knowledge. Um, mm -hmm on beef and lamb, um, also goat and veal of course, um, and for us to sort of help them uh, expand their knowledge um, of red meat uh, within the industry um, and give them a, um, an extra edge on, on all those others. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, MLA Meat and Livestock Australia's Corporate Butcher. I travel internationally and all throughout Australia uh, working with the best product in the world, Australian beef and lamb, and a little bit of goat from time to time. And it's educating customers, well, educating food service like chefs and wholesalers about our product and how good it is, where it comes from, whether it be pasture fed, grain fed, uh, the differences in the meats, uh, flavours. Um, I train people on how to cut it up properly, with some cleanliness sort of stuff and working with a lot of the junior chefs like the apprentices these days it's, it's amazing to see the caliber of the, of the apprentices coming out in the industry mm. it's, a, it's a good thing for the for the food service industry in australia well today we went through our as brett said the masterpieces three program we'll be looking at four, four various cuts and then the more economical cuts that's what the whole masterpieces program is based around is the whole nose to tail carcass utilization of beef and lamb uh, today we went through with the top side the knuckle Around the, the spare ribs and the, the shin shank. So we looked at various uses for these cuts and in the volume three masterpieces booklet it actually gives you four recipes for each of these one cuts.